Yeah, after every sort of cricket game around the world, whether you're playing club cricket or you're playing international cricket, there's always time for a fines meeting. And this fines meeting takes a look at some serious topics and some topics we can put a, a little bit of a twist on alongside me, my normal guest, the naughty guys. Yeah, <laughs> you as well, Stephen, naughty guy. <laughs> Ryan Bailey, Ashwell Prince and Stephen Cook. Gents, let's start off in Sydney, South Africa. How good were they today? Uh, they totally abolished Bangladesh, 140. Four runs, hey Ryan. Gotta love it. You gotta just love it. I mean, batting first, Quinton de Kock, hundred avoidance, maybe a fine there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Riley okay, Rousseau, we'll, 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 we'll get yeah. there. I'll Please note promote the chairman. Yeah, yeah, okay, then. Um, Riley Rousseau, you was phenomenal, and then with the ball as well. I know, really good. Ashy. You can pop in whenever you like. The boys, the boys, you can even talk over. The boys are outstanding, but we since we throwing to the World Cup. We're obviously bringing the Zumbos in here as well. The first Zumbos, <laughs> what, a, what a result. Yeah, yeah. But Don't since find me. But <laughs> since it's a fines meeting, <laughs> Mr. Ngarava there, the yeah. man is here. He's oh. on his number Yo. there today. The other day he was laying <laughs> 140. Eh? So, yeah, 140, <laughs> knocking people back. Aye, aye, boy. Ah, 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 ah. Fine, for him. Fine for him. Fine for him. I'll note that one down. I'll note that one down. But let's, let's, let's focus a little bit. Just a serious moment here. How good was South Africa today, Stephen? I mean... You know, not, not having a result they would have wanted against Zimbabwe in Hobart and then now going to Sydney and putting out a performance like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Quinny de Kock left off, you know, where he was in the, in the Zim game and, uh, and that partnership with Riley was so unbelievable. I mean, just showed the absolute class that he was. Um, maybe a little bit we lost a few runs in the last five overs, um, but then with the ball, you know, Andrew Nokia came in there, bowled with some serious heat and in the spinners through the middle period, the damage was done. So, yeah, clinical performance, got that net run rate up. You know, you never know when that's going to come into things. So, really good from the boys there. Uh, so, is that you with Harris Raft just taking it just a square leg there? 150 <laughs> kilometers today, Bob. I mean, Andrik Nokia was fabulous, Ash and, and Ryan. He was good. He was unbelievable. I mean, think about your batsman, 150 k's an hour, rock at your head, mm. and they're going, well, you've got to smash him out the, out the ground. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. It could take, yeah. take a bit of, of guts to do but, that. Does, he get, does he get a, a fine for not getting a, a five for today? I mean, four for ten is not good enough in our books, eh, <laughs> boys? We are the hard it's school the around here. Yeah, yeah, come on. School. Four for ten. If you're going to do something properly, do it properly. You don't just turn up there with one shoe. You turn up with shoes with no socks, and that's a fine, right? <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to talk Say this yeah, no, so I've got laces. <laughs> you got a little dangly bits on the on the top there. Yeah, so. uh, uh, anyway, back to the cricket. <laughs> right, South Africa sit on three points. They play India on Sunday. Right? On three points. India sitting on four. Now they beat the Netherlands today. And then Zimbabwe may have done South Africa a little bit of a favor, but let's concentrate on that Indian game coming up on Sunday. Big massive game for the Proteas. It is a massive game. Because South Africa can probably afford to lose one game. Mm. But if they lost against India, then that game against Pakistan becomes like a shootout. Almost a quarterfinal, isn't it? Almost a quarterfinal. So it's a massive game. They need to get, they can afford to lose one, but they don't want to put themselves in a shootout position against Pakistan. Because you can, you can expect Pakistan to, you know, um, pick up the rest of the points. <laughs> they haven't got the points yet, but you expect them to pick up the rest of the points, and then it, it could possibly come down uh, to just that for a moment between. here, Jens. Just I mean, this is a fine session. Look how he's standing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you? You know that the headmaster said, <laughs> oh, I mean, what is that? It's supposed to be relaxed. Yeah, we're supposed to be handing out five I sit in the like it's like all rigid and everything. Uh, I can't move. So, sorry, fine, chair. All uh, <laughs> yeah, right, you're fine. It's after this, you see me in the, over there where we always meet. <laughs> he's hiding away, these yeah. Stevenies. Yeah. But I would like to say to South Africa and, and the Proteus, I, and I, I think I said this coming into the World Cup, is that they've got their best chance of lifting some silverware. Don't worry about Pakistan. Go out there and really give India a good go. Yeah, they do. I mean, and, and let's not take for granted. You've got Riley Rousseau in the middle period. Dave Miller, Tristan Stubbs. Jeez, they just keep coming. Aidan Markram, he hasn't scored runs as yet. But during the middle period, I feel that's where we're going to we're going to take it away from teams. We've got guys that can hit the ball long on those big fields. One, because we're used to playing on bigger outfields in South Africa. Mm. Um, so for me, I think a middle order to lower order is superior than any other team in the, in the tournament. Okay. 
Uh, let's just focus back on Zimbabwe for a moment. Do we have to? Yeah, yeah you have to. They Do have we to really have to? Neighbors. Brotherly love. Neighbors, yeah, boys. Neighbors. Brotherly love. Love, you know? love, that, love thy neighbor. <laughs> love thy neighbor. Exactly. <laughs> How good were they today, guys? I mean, I, I turned up. 1.30, I thought, oh, they're probably 15 runs short. And they just kept believing until that final delivery. Absolutely. And uh, Raza, outstanding again. 3 for 25. He's, he's in some good form. He's not quite got some uh, enough runs. He got a lot of runs in the in the in the sort of prelim rounds, um, but now he's got some form with the ball. So he's been outstanding, and and he stands up in those tough con uh, situations. He he's a man. He's the man for that. When it gets tight there, brother, he wants to be in there. That's my kind of guy. Yeah. So, but uh, that's what you, you normally love doing. <laughs> yeah, 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 but that's, but that's what tight. you need. That's what you need. You need absolutely. guys who are up for it. Guys who are going to fight you know, to the bitter end there. Um, and absolutely, you know, vital bat and ball there. And it's been a tournament of upsets. So, you know, we, we here we are. We're sitting, plotting, planning what's going to happen. You couldn't... There's going to be another one, I think. Another one. <laughs> there's going to be another one. I, yeah, Ireland uh, got one over England. But before we move back to South Africa, also just spare a thought for Pakistan. What's gone wrong? Uh, they were one of the favourites coming into this World Cup. I mean, you, you look at their fast bowling stock, Shine Shah Afridi's back, and all those batting, Baba Azam, Rizwan, and it's all fallen apart. What's happened, Jess? Well, What's they haven't got a start with the bat, have they? Baba Azam, nah. he hasn't got any runs. Uh, so, in the batting lineup, not quite firing on all cylinders. Um, and then they, obviously, you feel for Nawaz with that last over in the last game, and then today nearly popped it over the middle field um, when he was sort of bringing his team or nearly taking them over the line and just didn't get it over the middle. Mm. So he's had a tough tournament, um, but the batting is not clicking. You know, mm. you, you got it. All departments have got to be well yeah, oiled, well oiled, well oiled, well oiled, well oiled like us. We're going to be well oiled <laughs> later. Well, it's all about the boys <laughs> meeting, isn't it? Right. Final thoughts from you guys. Big smiles. I love it. The Proteas have won. The Zimbos have won. What happens on Sunday? South Africa versus India. Go, Ryan, quickly. Give me, give me. I don't want a long one because you've got things waiting for you. Proteus. Proteus. Proteus, smash him. Riley Rousseau, today, outstanding. Take that form on, boy. Those spinners, they're going to come with their spinners. We're not bowling in the subcontinent. It's in Australia. Hard firm pitches. Get them whack. Pump them. The man with the best posture out of all three of us. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Proteus, sir. Proteus, sir. Ah, I'm going Proteus. And uh, the Fives meeting has come to an end. He doesn't have socks. He looks like he's just walked straight out of, uh, off the runway. You look like you've just gone out of old cocky. But that's all from, from the Fives meeting. We're having fun down here. And all the best to the Proteus on Sunday.